everyone it's sam here thank you for watching today so i'm going to show you how i've made this card here and it's just evolved really from the triple point card that i shared that was really popular lots of you enjoyed making that one so i was just playing around with scraps and come up with this one here so it's on an acetate front and i've got a little support inside there to stop it fanning open so it can stand up really nicely if you don't have acetate you don't need to use acetate but i did like using it because it just made it look like that piece was floating on the front and then on the back there you've got all your space to be able to write your message and then i've used some of my flower dyes and a really nice sentiment in the middle very easy to make so let's get started so the paper pad i've used is this one and it was the same paper pad that gave me the color inspiration for the triple point one and i will link that up here if you've not seen it. it's a really nice card lovely paper pad three pound i brought these before christmas and i said i'll be using these into the new year which is what i'm doing now so that one there like i said don't know if they're still available or not the sentiment for this one wishing you the happiest birthday was from this one here it's a really nice one this is the creative craft projects and it's their birthday and celebrations and then for oh i haven't decided yet which one i'm gonna go for so i've got their other two sets which is the caring thoughts and new adventures so we'll see where we go with that one and then these are my flowers so i've got the funky flowers here funky floral sorry okay and then i embossed you can just see got this grid detail here and it was using my offset grid embossing folder so first of all you want a piece of acetate if it's not acetate you're using then this would be just cardstock in whatever color you're using and this is six by six and a half along the six and a half side you want to score at six so you've got a tab okay i always like to use a metal stylus on acetate this is the i think it's crafter's companion this one i'll link it below it might be the do crafts the 12 by 12 one you can see now i've got my fold there there we go you can just see that one okay and then everything else is just yeah it's all just different size panels so you're going to want to cut yourself eight pieces so i've got four where i've used the pattern paper and then four that i've embossed so the white pieces is what you'll want um well you want eight of both but you'll want white eight pieces of two by two then the pattern is one and three quarters squared but you'll want maybe four in a pattern paper and then four embossed or in a different pattern i just thought it was nice to have the contrast to break it up it, just like i have done in that other card i've then just popped some foam on the center there of those for the kind of stopper in the middle that support this is two and a half by two along the two and a half side you're going to score at half an inch one and a quarter and two and then you just want to do a mountain a valley and a mountain fold so you will have an m shape okay and then i've got myself this piece here is six by six and then five and three quarters squared for the green piece this time i'm going to have this inside here so rather than having the white if i just put that behind can you see how much that pops even more so that's for inside here and then for the back is this piece of card which is six by six so it's going to reinforce the back of this and it's going to have that acetate tab sandwich between and then this is going to go on the very back for your message so this green piece is five and three quarters squared and then this white piece here is four by four then i've got this piece of the sentiment in the middle so this shape here and that's three by three in the white then two and three quarters squared in the green and then two and a half squared for the white piece on top and when we get to that i'll decide on the sentiment so first of all you want your acetate and i'm going to bring in this piece of black cardstock so i think you can see hopefully see it just a little bit better on there and then you want these pieces so first of all i'm using my patterned pieces i stick these ones down the embossed ones down last so i would say it's probably best to use a non-directional like these can go anyway really it doesn't matter decide which ones you want where so let's do let's do like that because that's where they're going to be going so to get these lined up you want to focus on the top corner and in this case the left hand side corner and you want to get the left hand side corner so it lines up with the edge of the acetate and also that fold that score line the fold 
section. So get them in place. I've just kind of tilted it and then I can just lay that down like so. And then with this one, you're now going to focus on the top corner, but this time the right hand side. And again, just focus on this one and the top like so. And then these two should line up as well now. And then again with the bottom. So this time you're working on this bottom point and this left hand. And all the others will just start to line up. So they join up now. If there's a little bit wonky, it's not going to really matter because you're going to be, I mean, look, by the time you start decorating it. This one, I'm not going to add all the flowers, by the way, as well. I just want to show you a simplified version. And this one's just going to have the panels. I do show you how to do all the flowers and stuff in the other tutorials. So you can check that one out. Then you want to take these four. And these are going to go in between now. So you now want to get this point in between these two here. So focus on that and then just stick that one down. And then I like to work with the opposite one. So I'm going to do this one down here. So again, I'm making sure that like these, that you get these triangles here. So just make sure that they're the same. And then when you sit that one down, it should just about line up with that one. And then again, here. And what you'll get now is you'll get this kind of gap here. So you want that to kind of be about the same as well. And then again. Like so. You should have something like that. And then this one is going to go over the top. So it will hide any of this anyway. But you can see you get that really fun effect. So now I want to decide on the sentiment. I think a sympathy. I think this is where I'm going with this one. The deepest sympathy. You are in my thoughts. Whatever tomorrow brings, I am here for you. No, I like the with deepest sympathy. Break today. No, that one fits quite nicely. So I'm going to start. So I'm going to stamp that one in the middle here. So whilst that's just drying, I'm going to flip this over and add my tape. This is a half inch red tape. Double sided tape will be fine. Just run a strip of that. there like so and then make sure that's secure take your backing off and then I'm going to grab that one with the green and this is going to stick to the back so I can just line it up on the front and then fold it over the top there so that's all lined up you can really see that detail now really pops but what you will find well to be honest this is a construction acetate so it doesn't actually come over well it will i think if someone's got a particularly shiny like polished surface it will probably you know spray open and if it's not a heavyweight acetate then it will kind of really go down so i am going to add the stopper but you can see how that looks really nice effect so with this one here because it's got half of it's going on to acetate half is going on to here i'm just going to pop some of the red tape along one side here because it's half an inch so on the side that's going to go against the acetate you want to pop tape and make sure there's no visible sticky tape otherwise the card you know will stick completely together so i've got a little bit overhanging there so i'm just going to fold that over like so so you want it so it's an m shape and I'm just going to pop that through the middle like so yeah and then I'm going to use my quick grab glue pop that all on the other side and then just squeeze that together and then close the card up like so I'm just going to pop some on 
the four corners and in the middle just so it doesn't dip. And now what you want to do is focus on the top and the bottom or the left and the right, depends how you're holding it. And then you should also get an equal kind of green border in my case. Okay, so that's all of that done. And then all that's left is to add this piece. Now I actually did trim this to just slightly under six by six, just a smidge. Okay, and that way you know it's gonna completely cover there. But again, you wanna add some tape across the acetate piece. And then you can add your liquid glue over the rest. And then I'm just going to focus on the end with the tape first and then just roll that down. So it covers everything else. And then I've got that one to go on top and you'll get a white border with this piece. And there's the finished cards. I think these look really, really nice. And, you know, just by going a bit more over the top there with the floral, you've got a birthday version. And then this one here, you've got that sympathy card. But adding the stopper just again, and it also gives it a different feel and a different look. I've not done a card with a stopper in the middle like that before. I actually really like it. So thank you for watching today. As always, I will link as much of the product that I've used today in the description box below. If you haven't subscribed and you've enjoyed today, please hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell. That way you'll be notified every time I upload something new. And if you want to watch something else, get a bit more inspiration, check out the tutorials that are popping up now. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.